Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I guess you're all wondering what have my sales been like? Well, I'm gonna show you how my sales have been and I'm gonna break down what I purchased the item for and what I sold it for. This is not including taxes or fees, but I'm gonna break it down now. Stay tuned. And if you haven't already, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. In with December sales, some of the highlights, not all of them, because the highlighted items from December have little stars, so those are from December. One of my highlights of December was an a Animal Crossing's Nintendo Wii video game that I got at Goodwill. I paid $2.50 for it and it sold for $32.50 plus $3.50 shipping. So, okay, the next highlight of December sale was a Timberland hoodie. In one of my videos, I'll link down in the bottom, I went to Goodwill and I came across this really cool Timberland hoodie and it was a huge size, it was size XXL and it had a really cool embroidery on the back and I paid up for that. I paid $9.99 for it, but it sold for $88.50. Another really good December sale was a book that I bought for $0.50, cents and it sold for... Where is it? It's called Vintage History of Art. It was a really cool book and it was leather bound and it sold for $89.50 plus $5.98 shipping and I paid 50 cents for it. That was a great one. Don't pass on those books, man. The next thing were a pair of men's combat boots. They were called Ultima and they were combat boots made in the USA. I purchased these for $6.50 and I sold them for $88.50 plus free shipping on those. Another December sale, which was a highlight, was I bought I got this for free. My friend gave it to me for free, but it didn't fit me properly, so I decided to sell it. It was a vintage champions Michael Jordan jersey, and it was a youth size, size 14-16. Um, I sold it for $112.95 plus $5.30 for shipping. So that was a great flip. It took a while to sell that, but I'm very happy with that one. Next, vintage Laredo boots, cowboy boots. They were a size seven and a half. I paid, I don't really remember what I paid for those, probably $6.50, not over $10. They sold for $73.98 with free shipping. Next December sale, which was a highlight, was a vintage Cabernet 90s slip dress nighty. What I put, it is a nighty but I usually put slip dress because the young girls these days like to wear those um, 90s, at, you know, with some combat boots or whatever. I paid a dollar for this. It sold for $38.25 with free shipping. Next, I paid a dollar for this Anthropology Saturday Sunday tunic sweater. I paid a dollar and it sold for $30 plus $5.30 shipping. That was a good one. It was a dollar day. Up next, we I sold this Chillmark Pewter figurine. I bought five of these. I bought them for $4 a piece, I think. It was a lot of money at the time, but it paid off with just this one that sold for $47.45 with free shipping. So the rest is all profit when they sell. Next one, December highlight sale, was a Bob Timberlake throw blanket. 
I spent $2.50 for it and it sold for $62.50 plus $8 shipping. The next December highlight sale were a pair of UGG, high, no, UGG slides. I bought them for $7.50. They sold for $58.16 free shipping. Okay, next I sold this Arizona Renaissance Festival mug. It, it's, U, it's from the USA. It's from the brand Fox Pottery. I purchased it for a dollar and it sold for $34.92 with free shipping. Last highlight December sale was an Ann Taylor cashmere sweater. It was light blue, very beautiful. I paid a dollar for it on Dollar Day at Goodwill and it sold for $32.50 with free shipping and it took less than a week to sell. Okay, now let's get on with the January sales. Okay, these are not in order, but uh, I sold this Ralph Lauren vintage pullover with the big horses embroidered. It was a one-fourth zip. I spent a dollar on this. It took a long time to sell. It was I sold it for $58.50 plus $8 shipping. I sold a vintage jumper denim uh, jumper dress. It, it was a long dress. It was overalls and it was a size 10 12 girls. Um, I sold that for $55.50 with free shipping and my cost of goods was a dollar on that. I This was the second time I sold that because I thought it was a women's size and they got it and they realized it didn't fit them so they sent it back. I put it online and I sold it within three days again. The next one in January is are these Born Flip Flops size 8 leather. I paid a dollar for them and sold them for, no I paid two dollars for them, sorry. I sold them for $24 and six dollars plus six dollars shipping. The next is a Thread and Supply Utility Jacket with wool sleeves. It was a size large. I sold this for $55.50 plus $6 shipping. My cost of goods was $2.50. Next, I, I always pick up leather planners. This was a beautiful emerald green leather vintage Scully planner. I paid $2.25 at Goodwill and I sold it for $43.88 plus $6 shipping. Next is another planner. It's a Franklin Quest, like Franklin Convoy, but this one's Franklin Quest planner. It was a small planner. I picked this up at Goodwill for $2.25 and it sold for $45 plus $7.80 shipping. It went priority. Next, I sold some Polo Ralph Lauren Made in Italy loafers. They were a size 11. They sold for $46.88 plus $6 shipping and I paid $3.25 for those. Next, I sold my first pair of denim Levi's from my 50 pounds thread up denim rescue box that I purchased for $60 and it was 50 pounds of denim. Um, so I sold some Levi's high waisted black skinny jeans for $19.88 plus $6 shipping. The next thing I I um, sold was this trashed, cut up, tied up um, t-shirt. Somebody had customized it. It was really cool looking. It said Harden the F Up and that sold for $17 plus $6 shipping and I got that with a bunch of other stuff from a yard sale. So it was pretty much free. 
the next thing I sold was this estate folk art wooden large duck shallow table dish tray it was vintage and I bought this for $1.75 and it sold for $54.38 plus $6 shipping. The next thing I sold were there's these very unusual Doc Martin boots. They had a little heel on them and I've really never seen a pair like those before. They were burgundy, very unique. I took a chance on these. I spent $9.99 on them, which was a lot at the time, but it ended up paying off because they sold for $89.50 plus $8 shipping, and the buyer was happy. The next thing I purchased for a dollar, it's a linen white top. The brand name is Company Ellen Tracy. I sold this linen top for $23 plus $7.50 shipping. The next item I had in my store for a long time, I it didn't have very good pictures of it, so I ended up retaking pictures and it ended up paying off. Um, it was, it's called The Sack. It was a, a olive green crossbody. Yeah, I ended up taking an offer for $18 plus $8 shipping and I had that purse for so long I don't remember what I paid for it but it wasn't very much. The next thing I sold which was a fast seller it was a t-shirt called Margaritaville t-shirt a light green color it was brand new with tags extra large um, I paid a dollar for it on Dollar Day at Goodwill and it sold for $24.90 plus $5.30 shipping. The next item was an item that I had in my store for a very long time. They were Miss Me Skinny Jeans. I took an offer of $35 with free shipping. Cost of goods on those was $4. The next thing I sold was a vintage Bole ski goggles. I picked them up for $2.50. They sold for $34.50 plus free shipping. Up next was a Ralph Lauren 1 4th zip with embroidered crest women's pullover. I picked this up for $3.50 and it sold for $52 plus free shipping. Next is a really cool one. I picked up this vintage cousin, cousin baguette bread knife that actually was made of wood and it looked like a baguette. I picked this up for 95 cents at Value Village and there's a video of me picking it up. I'll try to link that in the description. But this knife that I bought for 95 cents sold for $74.50 plus free shipping. Awesome. Up next was a pretty good flip as well, but I had these for a long time. They're called Acacia Flip Flops. They looked funny, but they were sort of orthopedic. Um, I picked them up for a dollar. They sold for $38.50 with free shipping. And I've had them in my store for a long time, but they ended up selling. Up next, I picked up this Fabletics Athletic Skirt for a dollar at Goodwill and it sold for $26 plus $4.60 shipping. Next I picked up this Angel Goddess Tapestry Throw Blanket. I spent $2.50 for this at Savers and it sold for $40 plus $8 shipping. Next I picked up these gloves. They were finger fingerless Forever 21 gloves, new with tags. I picked them up for 75 cents. They sold for $15.50 with free shipping. And I have another pair listed as well. Up next, I sold these cute little Vince Camuto ankle boots. They were size eight and a half. 
I picked these up for $3.75. They sold for $54.50 plus $8 shipping. This was such a beautiful vintage sweater. The name is Nanel, and it is it was rabbit hair and wool with a little bit of cashmere um, with a leather lightning bolt in the middle with rhinestones all the way around that. I picked this up for a dollar and it sold for $55 plus free shipping and I had about 11 watchers on that. I have about five more items. Okay, um, next I sold a J. Crew tank top. It was just a basic tank top. I bought it for a dollar and I sold it for $23.40 with free shipping. Next I, I sold a Cabela's flannel. It was a very heavy duty flannel. It was extra large and it was turquoise and it had an elk embroidered on the chest. I sold it for $40 plus $8 shipping and the cost of goods on that was $7.50. Next I sold an Effici tunic sweater. It was olive green, size large. I paid a dollar for that and I sold that for $34.40 with free shipping. Next, this was in my denim, my thread up denim haul. I sold a duo maternity denim skirt for $18.50 plus $7.50 shipping. And the next thing from the thread up denim box, which after this sale brings me totally into profit, whatever I sell next, was a Victoria. Um, Celebrity Pink by Victoria's Secret Denim Jeans. They were they were skinny jeans. They sold for $24.50 with $6 shipping. The next thing I sold, I paid a dollar for this, a Philosophy Cashmere Cardigan Brown Sweater. I paid a dollar and this sold for $25 plus $4.60 shipping. And then the next thing, um, my kid, my boys went through their closets and gave me bags and bags of clothes. And rather than donating them to Goodwill, I posted them online and I've sold, this is the third sale of, um, of, <laughs> of this free stuff, free merchandise, an Under Armour hoodie. It was free from my boy's closet and it sold for $20 with free shipping. Okay guys, that'll, that's gonna do it. I hope you enjoyed my video of what sold and get out and fly into profits, guys. I'll see you on the next one.